Good bops in this in this uh in this game, man. Shout out to Sakurai and the dev team for actually giving us some good music, man. Yeah, they really put in a lot of work. It's like 25 that. hours of songs, too. That's ridiculous. Yo, is he using Pac-Man? Okay. Bro, is the Pac no, back? Not. I oh, guess okay. it's not. Oh damn. <laughs> the tease, man. If you guys don't know, Mog, aka Zage, was, was one of the better Pac-Mans you would encounter in Smash 4. Uh, guy was always actually a, a treat to watch. Like, kind of had a little bit of a slow style, but like just the efficiency and effectiveness he played with was always was always something fun to watch. I see him give many top players a, a run for their money, especially at out of state events. So, yeah, he was really playing a uh, chess with that character back in the day. Yeah. And when I was talking to him earlier, he lost a lot of faith in Pac-Man. He felt like you know the tools didn't work as well. He uh, really liked the up t old up tilt angle on the uh, hydrant. But now that you can't really get that anymore since it changes up tilt, he was like, oh, this character doesn't have the strong traps. But I don't know, maybe uh, seeing a bit of Pac-Man this weekend at Let's Make Move changed his mind a bit. Or was it at uh, Midwest Mayhem? I don't know. All these forms blend together. They're all <laughs> great, but. I saw my boy Senji, but every time I think I saw Senji on stream, I thought he lost. No, no, he beat Mistake. All right, so. Yeah, yeah. That was a high match. <laughs> Let's go, Senji. <laughs> Let's go. They got like 13th or something. Like, he was up there. It'd be bad, man. I think Let's Make Moves was a tournament that was I, I appreciate it because it was almost like a little bit of a blow up for certain people who are just like, I thought we'd just get a little overhyped, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. Mm -hmm. Gotta come back down to Earth, baby. Still got some more work to put in, but we got some work to put in on this match. Again, winners, top 32, Pro Melia rocking out the Chrome. Crom, Crom, it's Crom. There's no E at the end. I'm gonna get it right. My bad. The Crom. I mean, you said a real word. Crom is a real word. Yeah. So. You're more right. I mean, that's I'm actually trying to back true. You up, man. Everybody else wants to live in fantasy world, bro. I'm trying to bring these words to life. Yeah. That's all good. So Pac-Man making this, uh, honestly, the first appearance I've seen uh, Mog play with him since Smash 4. So I'm really excited to see what he can get done. Yeah. And a lot of the mechanics are pretty similar. So the Hydrant, I'm pretty sure, still takes 13%. But the trampoline's a little bit different. So now characters can hit it to burn charges on it. Yeah. So it's kind of a mind game of like, oh, will I hit it? Will I not? This character still has a lot of tricks, even though some of them are gone by the wayside. Yeah, just, uh, you know, and honestly, that's kind of the good mark of, of a, or the mark of a good player, honestly, is how well again, you adapt to that and just kind of re-implement it into your arsenal. You know, for, for uh, Mog, somebody who put so much time into this character in Smash 4, I can't imagine him just, you know, throwing Pac-Man by the wayside and just not having something to bring to the table with him. You know what I'm saying? It's like riding a bike. You never forget the character that you learned the game with. Bike and a tricycle, man. It's almost the same thing. Yep. It just takes a little more adjustment. I mean, Pac-Man is probably like a unicycle. That's true, actually. Yeah, this character does not look easy. Character ain't, character ain't right. <laughs> Nonetheless, the lead in favor of Mog. It's interchanging between those projectiles. You don't want to get caught up with that one. That Oh, okay, take control of it. And that's another thing I really appreciate. Those players who aren't you know, scared and shy away, they will go ahead and just take control of an item like that bell and just whip it right back in your face. And that was a really brave catch, too, because if that even touched his like foot even, he would have gotten sun. That back air probably would have killed that situation. Yeah. Oh, back here almost killing right there, 130%. Pac-Man might have been eating a little bit of something between games. Three grab, but there's no way a punch could happen with that Hydra there to cover him. Familiar's doing, just kind of waiting it out. No need to force anything. You understand the situation. You know what Mog's looking for. Don't give it to him for free. That back air, you can get that for free all day long. It looked like Mog tried to throw out a Hydrant to cover himself, but it wasn't there. There's a bit more of a recharge time, it seems. So without that, you were up a creek without a paddle. Ooh, wow, okay. Just goes up high. Look at that damage he's able to string together just so quickly. Yeah, if he was a real one, he could have air dodged through. I respect him not going for it. That's the kind of dumb stuff that lose me tournament sets, but yeah. <laughs> that's why he's up there and I'm not. Man, Rob is such a powerhouse, bro. Just able to just put together so much damage. This character on stage is such a nuisance such safe buttons on shield too you have to predict him just like mog did right there with that back air a deep edge guard and he tried to put down the hydrant to push him away but he was a little bit late just a hair though that lack of timing does cost him some percent however able to remove the stock at last he's got to be careful at 104 his stock is in a lot of danger let me just go ahead and just throw that wrench at him get up off my ledge 19 percent on that one key though All right, good neutral air. Keep the pressure going. Now you have the Hydrant. But he, I love it when Pac-Man have the Hydrant there, but don't go for it. It's a layers on layers on layers thing. All right. All right. Terrific catch. He's controlling the stage so well. 
about giving out oh. too much real estate. And Mog not going to be able to bring that one back. So you got to imagine, uh, J Dog, if Mog does drop this one here, you got to imagine we're going to see the Simon Richter come out to play. I think I think he plays Richter. Yeah, he plays Richter. Yeah, Richter. Even though they're both like the same. There's like some subtle differences, I think, with the fires. Yeah, the, the holy, holy waters. waters yeah, it only matters for like the Pikmin and all of our matchups. Right, right. So yeah, it's pretty much the same. But I feel like that's what we're going to be seeing because Pac-Man, as strong as uh, Mog is playing, he just doesn't have the tools to keep Krom out. He's so fast and he racks up so much damage once he gets in. Yeah. And that's the kind of deficit he's facing. I mean, you're already at 77. You get to really remove this stock. To be honest, not really showing any signs that you're going to be capable of the way that Amelia is just dominating this neutral game. What happened? It looks like he tried to pull out a fruit, but wasn't able to. That was weird. All right, now Cremelia putting out some pressure just by jumping out there, forcing him to recover low. Ugh, that a terrible crab effect, man. Something's never changed. I'm telling you, like, the one thing oh. that should have changed, ah, this looks fine. <laughs> Actually, I like the animation on that now. Like when he whisks the grab, he looks all sad. It's kind of funny. I think he looks sad. You should have oh. saw the look on Mox's face, but you can take a look at that one after the two stock. Cremelia not playing with him at all. Absolutely. And that Pac-Man, as strong as it was in Smash 4, it's looking like in this game, with this character specifically against Krom, you're going to need to switch it up a bit because yeah. I can't really see how Pac-Man can keep up without being a like, stronger player already. So when you have to be better and like play in a certain way too, you might as well just go with a more consistent character. But Mal doesn't think so. He's doubling down, sticking with the Pac-Man. I respect it. Yeah, I do. Could I mean, I do on the, the side if he's just kind of playing the game, kind of experience in tournament with his Pac-Man. You know what I'm saying? Not necessarily to kind of take it all the way, which in which case we would imagine he would bring out the Richter for that. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, the best way to gain that experience really is firsthand. So I can't fault him for putting his Pac-Man to the test. However, definitely flunking that first game. We'll see what game two has in store. Yeah, but like it looks like they're just bearing each other across stage. But the thing is, Mars or Krom's fair is so much more disjointed, and he it seems like he gets more out of it. So when your main spacing tool is just mitigated by the opponent's same spacing tool, you have to think three or four steps ahead. Sure. Luckily, Mog is used to that, but it still doesn't make it much easier. Okay. Austin Air coming through. Now gotta be careful. Don't get too aggressive. Remember. That's probably the, the most negative thing uh, about Krom is that recovery. And speaking of recoveries, it looked like Ma just really couldn't put one together. And I think that's kind of similar to what we saw in the, the first game too, J-Dog, is he kind of threw a stock by the wayside. Yeah, it looked like he was trapped between two different recovery options and kind of chose the middle of both, which put him under the stage. That is rough. Wow. Mog in a ton of trouble. And top 32 of winners. Looking real solid for Familia to advance on through unless Ma can put something together. Something about that, Zay used his own body to push him into the bell after the air dodge. It was so smart, but then he missed the punish afterwards. Oh. So you can see that the gears are still turning, but it's just not fine-tuned to the engine of Smash Ultimate. Right. Yeah, I don't know how you could get around that. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> and I think Romilio is too like, I mean, I know I know your options here. I have them perfectly covered. What are you really going to do? And unfortunately for Ma, the only thing you really do is die. Yeah. So, what an absolutely fierce start for Cromelia. I think all signs point to a 2-0 uh, victory, barring some miracle from Mog. I'm not sure he's going to be able to find it at this rate. I love the coverage with the up B. You're going to roll behind me. I got something that's going to reach and still punish you. Excellent reaction on the side for Melia. Shows that he's firing all pistons right now, too. So many options from Prom, and he's just utilizing them perfectly. And now Zay is kind of missing the things that he's been getting more consistently, like the back air catch on that um, uh, bell. Tries to do him dirty with the apple, but oh, he puts himself onto Whoa. the trampoline, and that's wow. going to be the thing that kills him. You got to nod your head, though, because Permelia, he recognizes the situation instantly, no hesitation. Pac-Man fever, my man 